Chapter 8, Control Systems, Part 1 of 2. The questions that we're going to answer in this video, what is a system? Identify the components of a system. What is the difference between an open loop and closed loop system? How does digital and analogous differ? Are thermosistors and potentiometers digital or analog devices? What function do output devices have in a control card system? What roles do output and controllers play in control systems? What are two programming languages used in control systems? And how do servo mechanisms and numerical control systems control motion? Control system. A control system is a set of component working together to perform a given task under the direction of a processor or computer. Overview of a system. A system is a group of interacting or interdependent parts that function together as a whole to accomplish a task. All systems have input, process, and output. Systems are divided into two categories, open loop systems and closed loop systems. Open loop systems. An open loop system operate on the assumption that no errors will occur. There is no feedback to allow for adjustments once an operation has been started. Closed loop system. A closed loop system also consists of an input and output, but it also incorporates one or more feedback devices that allow a control program to monitor and adjust a system's output. Feedback is generated by devices called sensors. Input devices. Input devices, such as sensors, are used to collect information from an environment and feed the information back to a controller in the form of an electronic signal within a closed loop system. The electronic signal will take the form of an analog signal or digital signal. Analog signals. Analog signals are continuous electrical signals that vary in intensity over time and are capable of attaining an infinite number of values or levels within a given range. Digital signals. A digital signal is an electrical signal that has an integral number or discrete levels or values within a given range. The simplest digital scale has only two distinct states that are typically characterized as voltage or no voltage, on or off, high or low, or one or zero. Analog to digital conversion. Using an analog to digital converter, ADC, this device converts continuous signals, analog, to discrete digital signals. A digital to analog converter is then used to convert a digital signal back to an analog signal. Analog input devices, thermistor. A thermistor is an analog input device that changes in resistance as it experiences a change in temperature. A reading from a thermistor is not the actual temperature. Instead, the resistance range can be correlated to a range of temperatures. Potentiometers. A potentiometer is an analog device that also allows the amount of resistance in a circuit to be changed manually. Digital input devices. Digital input devices provide information to a controller in the form of an on-off signal. Limit switches are digital input devices that are activated by physical contact. Digital input devices such as read switches and phototransistors are triggered by methods do not, that do not include physical contact. Push button switch. The limit switch can be wired in one of two configurations, normally open or normally closed. If it is wired in spots 1 and 3, it is closed, meaning that no electrical signal will pass through the switch when the switch is not pressed. If it is wired in spots 1 and 2, it is open and allows electricity to flow through the switch. The signal continues to flow through the switch as long as it is held down. When it is let go, the circuit is broken and the signal stops. Read switch. A read switch is a type of non-contact digital input device that is often used in alarm systems. The basic read switch consists of two identical flattened ferromagnetic reeds sealed in a dry inert gas atmosphere with a gas glass capsule. The free ends overlap but do not touch. When a magnetic field is entered, the reeds are attracted to each other. When the reeds make contact with each other, electricity is allowed to flow through the switch. Phototransistor a phototransistor is another type of non-contact digital input device that functions as a light-sensitive switch. As a transistor is a polarity-sensitive electronic component, polarity must be considered when wiring a transistor. If wired incorrectly, the phototransistor will not work. Output devices. An output device is used to perform work or convert energy from one form to another in order to accomplish a specific task. An output device may generate motion, produce light, make sound, or create a magnetic field. Actuators. 
An actuator is any output device that generates mechanical motion. Actuators are used in manufacturing applications such as clamping devices, tool spindles, and parts ejectors. Hydraulic actuators are used in applications where heavy loads are encountered and where precise movements are required. Lamps. In industry, lamps or lights serve a variety of purposes in automated systems. Those devices are used for communication. Lights on a control board can indicate when an inspector or operator needs to perform certain actions, or lights can indicate when a process is running or is about to begin or end. Buzzers. A buzzer is an output device that converts electrical energy into sound energy for the purpose of drawing a person's attention to a situation. Electromagnets. An electromagnet generates a magnetic field when a current passes through a coil of conductive wire that is wrapped around an iron core. Unlike a permanent magnet, an electromagnet can be turned on or off. They are also used in switching device relays. A relay is an electromagnetic switch. When the coil inside a relay is energized, it creates a magnetic field that causes electrical contacts within the relay to close. Relays are commonly used in electrical systems where a low voltage circuit must control a high voltage circuit's operation. This ends part one.